Greetings, my name is Kanita Aisha Mohali. I am a bachelor student of business and management at Bandung Institute of Technology in Indonesia. In this video, I'm going to present about the research that I've been working on for the past couple of months on Indonesian toll road users regarding a business plan about toll insurance in a marketing perspective. Uh, under the title of Understanding Indonesian Toll Road Users' Demand and Attitudes Towards Mandatory Toll Insurance. Let me begin with reading the summarized abstract. As Indonesia toll road network grows, so do associated risks, highlighting the need for toll insurance. This study assesses toll road user perception of mandatory toll insurance, examining factors like safety and financial risk perceptions, institutional trust, attitudes toward insurance, travel behavior, and price sensitivity. Results show that perceived safety and financial risk strongly influence the need for toll insurance, reflecting Prospectorius concept of loss aversion by Kahneman and Sversky, written in 1979. Institutional trust boosts adoption intent, albeit positive attitudes to a general insurance may lower the perceived need for toll-specific coverage. Notably, price sensitivity is the top predictor, indicating that affordable pricing could drive adoption. In the first section, we'll talk about the introduction. Indonesia has experienced rapid expansion, growing from around 780 kilometers in 2014 to over 2,600 kilometers by 2023, with a target of 3,000 kilometers by 2024 as part of the national strategic projects. And this development has greatly enhanced regional connectivity and economic mobility, especially in densely populated areas like Java. However, with the increased toll road usage come rise in associated risks, including road accidents, which result in substantial financial losses and personal injuries. Within 2020 to 2022, Indonesia experienced approximately 12,300 um, toll road accidents and billions of rupiah of material loss and half, over half of those injured fell into poverty due to the financial strain caused by these accidents. Currently, PT Jasara Harya, a state-owned company, offers limited accidents coverage for all vehicle users in Indonesia, excluding single vehicle accidents and infrastructure damage, leaving many toll road users in a vulnerable, in a vulnerable financial situation. With only 31% of vehicles in Indonesia insured as of January 2023, there is a clear issue of underinsurance reflecting a lack of consumer awareness and uptake of available insurance products. In response to these challenges, PT Jasara Harja Purta, a subsidiary of PT Jasara Harja, has proposed mandatory toll insurance to cover personal accidents, vehicle damage, and third-party liability for toll road users and the infrastructure itself. The planned payment system will, be, will function as follows. The toll insurance premium will be incorporated into the toll fee collected at the toll entrance gate and paid using an e-toll card. It will be included as a single payment rather than two distinct charges. There is no precedent for such a regulation either in developed and developing countries, and the current research on insurance adoption in Indonesia largely focuses on general and third-party liabilities insurance with little attention given to toll insurance possibility. For the second section, we'll talk about the literature review. There is a clear research gap regarding toll insurance in Indonesia. Limited research has been conducted on users' perception, attitudes, and price sensitivity concerning insurance products, particularly toll insurance. The study aims to address these gaps by investigating the behavior and attitudes of toll road users in Indonesia who may have distinct needs and risk perception compared to general vehicle owners. A key study on road user willingness to pay for toll road usage by Widya Suti, Baharini, and Prastantyo in 2024 revealed a positive correlation between income and willingness to pay for toll services. However, frequent toll users were found to have lower willingness to pay for additional services, likely because they become accustomed to using the roads without facing significant risks. Another study by the World Bank on Motor Third Party Liability Insurance in developing countries reveals that insurance is often misunderstood as a tax rather than a protection tool. This is particularly relevant in Indonesia, where low insurance penetration and public awareness hinder adoption. This research draws on prospect theory and protection motivation theory to explain toll road users' decision-making processes concerning toll insurance. Prospect theory by Kahneman and Sversky, written in 1979, 
emphasizes that individuals fear losses more than they value equivalent gains. In this context, users who perceive a high financial risk from toll road accident may be inclined to purchase toll insurance. However, prospect theory also suggests that user may underweight the probability of rare events like accidents leading them to avoid insurance unless they perceive a significant risk. Protection motivation theory by Rogers in 1975 complement this by outlining how perceived severity, vulnerability, and response efficacy influence the adoption of protective behaviors such as purchasing toll insurance. Users who perceive high financial and safety risks are more likely to adopt toll insurance if they believe it offers effective protection. These were the research variables that were being utilized. The first one is perceived need for toll insurance because based on the user's sense of vulnerability to risk and the severity of potential consequences, um, we can assume how they perceive the urgency for toll insurance as mentioned earlier. And then uh, we have perception of safety risk with the assumption of higher perceived risk, increased insurance adoption likelihood. We also have perception of financial risk uh, if users perceive accident as financially devastating, they may be more inclined to adopt all insurance. Added to insurance because we assume that belief in insurance effectiveness impacts adoption, and then trust in an institutional quality, uh, be, uh, since it's critical for insurance uptake, especially in developing contexts, and travel behavior. Uh, as mentioned in the previous study, that the frequency of toll use affects perceived insurance need, and then price sensitivity uh, as log intuitively high price sensitivity may hinder adoption. There are six hypotheses that will be tested in this research. The first one being perception of safety risk is positively related to the perceived need for toll insurance. The second one, perception of financial risk is positively related to perceived need for toll insurance. Third one, attitude toward insurance is negatively related to the perceived need for toll insurance. The fourth one, level of trust and institutional quality is positively related to the perceived need for toll insurance. And then the fifth one, travel behavior is positively related to the perceived need for toll insurance. And the last one is price sensitivity is negatively related to the perceived need for toll insurance. Going to the methodology, this study utilize a quantitative research design utilizing a structured survey method to collect primary data from toll road users in Indonesia using um, administered through Google Forms and the survey link is distributed to social media and messaging application to reach the target population. The questionnaire itself comprises of 26 questions categorized into two main types, first profiling question and then Likert scale questions. The target population focused on toll road users in Java, with the exception of Banten and special region of Yogyakarta where the majority of Indonesia's toll roads are located. The sample for this research is taken using proposing sampling well with following criteria, which are drive their own vehicle regularly, use toll roads at least once every three months, and are potential purchaser of toll insurance products. Data analysis will be conducted using IBM SPS as software and multiple linear regression will serve as the primary analytical method effectively exploring the relationship between multiple independent variables and one dependent variable. On to the next section, findings and discussion. Out of 564 respondents in total, 64.5% came from West Java followed by 174 from DKI Jakarta and 156 from East Java and 2.5% from Central Java with the majority of them have at least one insurance product and 21.8% don't have insurance. From this figure of conceptual framework and results of multiple linear regression, you can see the stronger variables that have effects to perceived need for toll insurance are perception of safety risk, level of trust and institutional quality, and price sensitivity. Here is the coefficients table for the result of multiple linear regression. And in the hypothesis testing, I will um, explain how this coefficient mean for each hypothesis. To define the hypothesis validity, um, the definition that is being used explain that p value less than 0 0.001 represent very strong evidence, p less than 0 0.01 indicates strong evidence, and p less than 0 0.05 reflects moderate evidence while P less than 0 0.1 suggests weak evidence or a trend, and P bigger or equal to 0 0.1 signifies inadequate proof. The beta represent the standardized coefficient for a predictor variable, showing the strength and direction of the relationship with the dependent variable. 
and the t-value assesses whether the estimated beta coefficient for predictor is significantly different from zero, essentially testing the null hypothesis that the predictor has no effect on the outcome. Therefore, for the first hypothesis, perception of safety risk is positively related to the perceived need for tall insurance is very strongly supported, and the second hypothesis, perception of financial risk is positively related to the perceived need for tall insurance is moderately supported, and attitude toward insurance is negatively related to the perceived need for tall insurance is also moderately supported, and the level of trust and institutional quality is positively related to the perceived need for tall insurance, very strongly supported, and travel behavior is positively related to the perceived need for tall insurance is partially supported. This is because the P is slightly bigger than 0.05, and then the price sensitivity is negatively related to the perceived need for tall insurance is not supported. Since the beta is positive, showing positive relationship between the price sensitivity and perceived need for tall insurance uh, in contrast to the initial hypothesis. Discussion. The key drivers of tall insurance need, perception of safety and financial risk, significantly shape user perceived need for tall insurance, consistent with prospect theory which emphasizes loss aversion and positive attitude to a general insurance products correlate with a lower perceived need for tall specific coverage, indicating a potential ga gap in customer understanding of tall insurance benefits. Also, higher trust in insurance providers and government agencies strongly boosts adoption intent, reflecting protection motivation theory where trust is pr in protective measure is crucial for adoption. And frequent toll use showed only a marginal correlation with adoption intent, partially aligning with previous finding on lower willingness to pay for frequent users. While price sensitivity was the strongest predictor, suggesting price conscious users view tall insurance as cost benefit risk management tool, highlighting the importance of affordable pricing. In conclusion, the study assessed the feasibility of mandatory toll insurance for Indonesian toll road users by examining users' perception of safety risk and financial risk, price sensitivity, insurance attitudes, trust in institutions, and travel behavior. The key findings are that higher perceived safety and financial risk correlate with the greater perceived need for toll insurance. Institutional credibility and transparency significantly impact adoption likelihood, underlining the importance of trust in insurers and regulators. While price sensitivity emerged as the strongest, strongest predictor, underscoring affordability as a key factor for widespread adoption. The challenges are, however, there is an insurance redundancy as positive attitudes toward general insurance can lower perceived need for tall and specific insurance, highlighting a need to clarify tall insurance unique benefit and insurance fatigue because existing coverage may lead to perceived redundancy, suggesting that clear differentiation is crucial. Actionable strategies um, from public education to inform users about toll road risk and toll insurance protective value and, and trust building initiative to enhance credibility of insurance, insurers and regulators through transparent practices and affordable premiums to target price conscious users with cost effective pricing to drive adoption and uh, again, limitation as reliance on self-reported data may introduce bias and the Java-centric sample could limit generalizability to other regions. Therefore, for future research, it is recommended to expand geographic scope, explore cultural attitudes toward risk, and examine social influences on insurance adoption. Further studies could investigate pricing models, coverage levels, and regulatory frameworks to support all insurance rollout in Indonesia. Lastly, I would like to express gratitude to PT Jasaradya Putra and Manu Institute of Technology for the invaluable support provided throughout the research process. Their assistance and resources made available by this esteemed institution have significantly contributed to the completion of this study. These are the references that were used in constructing the research. And thank you for listening.